Hey guys, welcome to the new video. So we've got a very busy weekend ahead of us. Today I'm taking Buck to do his first ever elementary, just at a local venue. But it'll be good to get him out because, I mean, I don't think he's been plastered up since last September, like last year. So it's been a while, it'll be very good to get him out again. And then tomorrow, well today, we're taking Martha, who I realise I haven't introduced on this channel, but I will show you her now. I'm sure if you follow me on any other social media, then you will know who she is. We're taking Martha up to Chard to do the B90. We're travelling up today and they're competing tomorrow. She's only six and she sometimes takes a bit more time to settle. But it's good for me to head up the night before to get her settled in, try and ride her a bit, get some energy out. But yeah, I'm going to bath her now because Buck's already plaited up. I did that last night. So then she can be drying whilst Buck is at dressage. I don't think she's met the camera before, so she might be a bit nervous. Oh, and she's off. Can you at least pretend you like me, Martha? Come on, say hello. This is Martha. She is basically a pony. She's like one centimetre under 15 too. So she's very small and she's not at all what I was expecting to get because I was thinking, oh, I'll get one that's bigger than Buck. But yeah, I don't think I could have even hoped to get a horse like her. It is very exciting. And I mean, it's crazy because at the beginning of the year, lots of things were going wrong and I didn't really think I was ever going to event again. So to now have Martha, who is the best event horse that I have ever ridden, and she's only six, it's very exciting. So we've got two more events this season, both just at 90, because I ran her at 100 at Launceston, and we found out that she kind of just, she needs a bit more work on her foundations. Although she'll do it, it's just not quite there yet. I need to get on, because I haven't got so much to do in a short time. So I need to stop vlogging and get her inside. Okay, so Martha's in bath now. She's over here in her stable, drying off. So she can chill out for a bit whilst Buck goes competing before traveling down to Chard. Now, Buck's here, he's having a say in it. He's got his magnet rug on, which I think helps blood flow. I don't know, it's doing whatever it's meant to do. He always likes it. It's all plaited up. Oh, and I need to start his tail. Honestly, Buck's tail is so annoying. It's like the thinnest tail ever. I'll try and show you. So I think I'm just gonna have to brush it and ignore how the top looks because I don't want to pull it or trim it because it's so thin at the top. So we're just gonna ignore it. So we're leaving in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna get him bandaged up and ready to go. I think the plan is to travel him in his exercise bandages and then I can just warm him up in those before uh, taking them off, obviously, to compete. So yeah, I need to get going. I've loaded everything up. We're taking the trailer with Buck because the lorry's all loaded up, ready for Martha. So got the trailer. Honestly, I don't need to bring that much. I've just got like my saddle, saddle pad, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I need to get going. Running a bit behind, but it'll be okay. We go. Um, we're on the way now. I think my parent. You, did you make me a bacon roll? Uh, yeah. Well, part. It was a joint effort. Joint effort, but so I turned gonna... the bacon in the pan. Oh. And put it into the roll. Well, thanks for your contribution. It's all right, mother added.
Okay, so we're on the way home now. Um, how do you think the test looked? Or were you too focused on uh, videoing? I was just videoing so yeah. to tell. Yeah. I didn't put my battery yeah. in my videoing camera. So like the one that was going to be good for zooming. So I'm sorry, that's why it's probably going to be bad quality because I'm going to have to zoom in Don't afterwards. Don't blame me. Yeah, it's actually my fault for once. Fail to prepare. Fail to fail. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of, he was a bit nervous when I first went in, so all of my trot work at the start was, he wasn't really pushing himself into an outline, he just kind of backed off a little bit, but I think that is just because he hasn't done dressage in over a year. After he cantered in the test, it was a lot better, and I'm happy with how his canter went, and he got an 8 for his halt at the end, so that's good, and yeah, we just need to get him out a bit more, and see a bit more life. Plus side, you do get a fancy big A3 sheet with all the schools and comments on. Yes, that's because it's BD, so, really so you cool. get a big, big school. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a novelty for you. You know, I've seen a big sheet before. Quite posh. There you go, a posh sheet. Um, but yeah, we are heading home now. What time are we leaving with Martha? About twelve o'clock. Oh, so, so we've got an hour hours. and a half-ish. Three hours to get to um, up there. So yeah, hour and a half to change around my tack and get changed because a lot of like Buck's girth Martha uses so I need to make, I've got a list so hopefully I don't forget anything. Don't forget to charge your battery. I've got the battery, I charged the battery, I put it in the wrong camera bag, it's in the lorry. Uh, hang on, you put me on the hot there. We'll see you guys later. Hang loose guys. Okay so it's a few hours later now and Martha's already, she's got her bandages and boots on and Laurie's ready and I think she wants to go. I've also um, banded her mane because it's rather wild. She definitely has a pony mane. See, because she, she's half pony, I think that's where she, that's where the pony went into her mane. So hopefully, I should have pulled it, but I thought this would be easier. So we're going to load her up now. Um, I'm just closing up the gates, so I think we're going to stop for food on the way, which is exciting. We've got some new cup holders, so hopefully I can get a Starbucks. Honestly, I should be sponsored by Starbucks. The amount we promote them in these videos. Yeah. Anyway, we're heading off now, so see you soon. Okay, so we're now here at Chard. Martha's over in her stables. It's all been a bit crazy, but we're just about to go and walk the cross country course and then I'm gonna come back and give her a ride. Watch me in it. We've got the camera. Anyway, number one. Because you've got that coming out the hedge, so that's quite nice and straight. But as you're coming down the hill, so you're going to get all on your forehand, and then you've got to come up for a skinny. But but then you have got the eighty there uh, alongside. That's quite a big ninety. That's a very big ninety. And she'll hop that nicely. It, I think that's all right, fine. But it's just weird place. Okay, Martha's being a bit annoying because she thinks she's all alone. Um, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, Devaku have very kindly let me borrow their saddles to ride in this weekend. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that later. I'm going to get on her because she's being a bit of a pain. So I'm just going to go do some schooling on her.
Okay, so I've just given Martha her dinner. She's eating it there and filled up her water. She's actually really good. She drinks a lot when she's not at home, which is nice because obviously lots of horses have a bit of a problem with that. I ended up having to ride her for like an hour and a half because she was just so wild. And even at the end, she like wasn't sweating, hadn't really calmed down, but hopefully it'll be okay. It's quite windy. So I'm gonna put it down slightly to that. But yeah, I'm gonna come and check her again later. Yeah, I also think I'm gonna get up early and ride her like as soon as the sun's up because she still just has way too much energy. So we need to get rid of that. <laughs> Otherwise it could be an excitable dressage. What um, I was going to tell you, say about the Devacoos. So yeah, I'm really lucky that uh, Georgia from Devacoo is letting me borrow their dressage saddle to try it out. We tried it on her a few weeks ago when we fitted her jump saddle. So I definitely noticed fits. I know she likes it. So it's quite nice to now be able to try it in a competition scenario. So big thank you to them for allowing us to do that. And yeah, she's definitely went very well in it today. So hopefully it'll be the same tomorrow. Okay, so I'm obviously now in all my competition stuff. I finished plaiting Martha and I need to be on in like half an hour. So we'll probably head down there soon and just slowly tack up. Yeah, make it count today. <laughs> make it count, there you go. Okay, so we're heading down to tack up now. So I need to ch change the lens on this camera. So this will be it for vlogging until I don't know, definitely until after dressage. I don't know, we'll see what my times are like in between how much of a rush it is, but hope it goes well. Hang loose. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the mic attached right now, so the sound isn't going to be that great. But yeah, I'm just about to head down to cross country. I'm 
you can probably tell I'm kind of shaking. I just want to give her a good round. But yeah, she's been great so far. So hopefully we can do a good job and I'll give a full debrief on the rest of the day when I'm done. Okay, so back from cross country now. Double clear inside the time, which is very exciting. Martha was so good. We're currently in fourth. You're probably not gonna be able to see that. But the people ahead of us haven't jumped yet. So fourth at worst, which very exciting. Martha was so good. Uh, yeah, wait and see when the results come. Hey guys, so obviously we're back from Chard now, it's a few days later and I thought it was about time that I came on here to do a debrief, so I mean where do I start? Martha was just fantastic, she, yeah, I was a bit worried before the dressage because the arena that I was in was like below the other two and you could not see any other horses and I think because of her age and also because she's a mare she's quite uh, she gets quite attached to other horses so <laughs> I thought she was going to be a bit naughty and I mean she did neigh a little bit but she managed to keep it together quite well so we ended up getting a 32 which our section only had one sub 30 and we were top five after dressage so although it was the 32 I think it's quite it was definitely a harsh marking arena so I don't think the mark quite justifies or reflects how well she went then the jumping phases double clear inside the time she is just like <laughs> the most mega double clear machine and the time was difficult I think that's where most of the people in my section got caught out because the ground was deep and their horses just weren't quite making it but if anything I had to slow her down I <laughs> made sure I trotted into the water to prepare for ages to try and waste some time and yeah we ended up winning which I was not expecting whatsoever the whole season she's been there or thereabouts so she really did deserve to get the win it's her first BE win and yeah I'm just glad we could put it all together I I just adore <laughs> that pony and to think I've only had her for three months and this is genuinely just the beginning it blows my mind honestly and yeah she's just mega uh, yeah I don't really have any words I'm so glad I could just do her justice this weekend and yeah so hopefully we can carry this forward and have 
a good final run at Bicton. So that's for the B93 day and I will also be vlogging that. But whilst I'm out here, I thought I would show you guys my new purchase. Honestly, it's been a good week. There you go. Honestly, no words. It feels like Christmas has come early. Got my lovely dressage, which was the one I rode in this weekend. And then we've got the jump, which actually isn't mine. So we've bought a new jump, but we're being lent this one until that arrives. And luckily Buck also fits into that. So that means Buck can get out of venting again. Been a long time coming. I'm gonna stop rambling, leave you guys here. I'm in love with my new saddles. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time for Bicton B93 Day. <laughs>